Blood, I ain't got no white friends, blood. There ain't no white person in my phone that I can call and claim to be my friend. I ain't got no white friends, blood. Man, don't roll with white man like that. So if anyone thinks that, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's something to do with... Blood, what the fuck? Stop fucking coming around here with that bike, blood. I'm telling you right now, yeah? Your life will never be worse if you dismiss the idea of black oppression. I'm telling you right now, your life will always be worse if you believe I'm a victim. Oh, there's systemic racism and that. I'm a black man, so I have to work ten times as hard than a white man. There's no advantage to the negative mindset, blood. Look at a man like Andrew Tate, he's been recently freed. He was talking about there's no disadvantage to a positive mindset, even in a bad situation. So imagine the analogy he gave is you could be shipwrecked and find yourself on an abandoned island alone. Yeah? Some people are like, oh, I'm here alone, I've been shipwrecked and like, my life is fucked. Blood, you're still alive, blood. Blood, you've managed to find a fucking island, blood. You could be yeah, 100 metres down underwater, but you could have drowned in that. There's no disadvantage to the positive mindset. There's no disadvantage to dismissing the idea of black oppression. Think about it this way. I beg. Just try and think about this logically. Do you think, yeah, I would be in this position right now if I believed, you know what, yeah, systemic racism. I'm from Edmonton. But I'm a black man. I, I'm, I'm a descendant of a slave and I can't get nowhere. I have to work triple the time, the amount of time, uh, triple as hard as a, as a white man. Do you think I'll be in this position right now? You think there'll be a fucking Jay Wise right now, blood? I'd love to have a crystal ball and show you two realities. This one that you know, Jay Wise. And then, well, there wouldn't be a Jay Wise, blood. I would love to know. I would love to have a crystal ball and know how my life would have panned out. If, let's say when I was 18, I got to that crossroad of thinking... To be fair, this sort of mindset kind of developed when I was about... Yeah, nineteen twenty in it. Yeah, so around about the time when I got my apprenticeship, let's say, yeah. At that point in time, I would love to know how my life, how different my life would have been if I thought to myself, you know, I'm a black man, uh, life is difficult and that, as opposed to thinking like this. Do you think, yeah, you'll be making, I'll be making these videos for you lot to watch? Do you think I'll be in this house? Because I'll feel like every other fucking stupid ass black person and that. You know what? Ah, oh, black people can't get nowhere, you know. So, oh, why, why am I gonna buy a property? That black man don't buy buy a property, you know. I don't know any black people with property, yeah. And then the black people that I know that I got properties, ah, oh, they like white people, man. They work in the city, man. They lick white man's ass and that. All their friends are white. You think I have this property, bro? You think I? Hey, I don't like Northampton, but you know what, man's doing well up here, you know. I got three properties, including this one right now in Northampton, bro. I wouldn't have this. I wouldn't be up here making these videos right now. There wouldn't be a Jay Wise, blood, if I believed in black oppression, blood. There's no advantages to believing in black oppression. There's no advantages to believing in things that take away your power, like depression and that. Back to what I was saying earlier, just a second ago, talking about, oh, mortgages are of a white man and that. Bro, I heard man say that before. Mortgages, that's a white man thing, buying into the white man's ideology and that. Oh, a man that, and the black man that do have mortgages and properties and that, they got their white friends, they lick white man's ass and that. Blood, I ain't got no white friends, blood. There ain't no white person in my phone that I can call and claim to be my friend. I ain't got no white friends, blood. Man, don't roll with white man like that. So, if anyone thinks that, ah, oh, you know, it's, it's something to do with... Blood, what the fuck?
Yo! Bro, stop fucking coming around here with that bike, blood. It's fucking nine in the morning. What are you doing? Sorry, bro. But there ain't no sorry, blood. Yesterday, a lot. Shut, shut, shut the fucking mouth. Last week as well, bro. You're making up too much. Stop fucking bro, making up noise on this estate. Tell, bro. I don't Keep business, blood. I don't business. Yeah, alright, man. Alright, bro. Sorry. It's a fight, though, bro. Blood, you keep fucking re re revving out the bike, no, blood. I understand, sorry. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Alright, sorry. Don't make me have to talk to you again, you know? Man, I have to fucking come interrupt my video, bro. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I lost it, fam. So I'm just adjusting the fucking. Fucking dickhead, blood. I feel like I'm a policeman on this estate, you know. Even the other night, I had to go out because some guys are sitting in their car. There was like, I think there was, there could have been four. There were definitely three, man. I remember there was two youths in the front and one Somalian youth in the back sitting in the car. They weren't even making up that much noise. But obviously, it's, it's well, almost midnight. It's like 11.30. The man is sitting in their car playing music, blood. They got it low, but you know the low, the vibrations and that, whoop, 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 the bass, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that, fam. This is fake. It's on my fucking nerve. It's not bad around here, innit? Yeah, but when you got someone who's like me, who has got low tolerance and that, blood, any little thing is going to piss man off, innit? Like, I even made a video just before this one talking about uh, Andrew Tate being released and that. And um, I'm saying that, obviously, when you come out of jail and that, you got to be more vigilant than that. You're slightly underneath the magnifying glass, isn't it, yeah? So you got to live life with a sense of paranoia and that. Because any little slip-ups, like, you go back to jail. Even me, I'm paranoid and that now. Like, I've got myself into little, you know what I'm saying, in it, yeah, where I, yeah, me, recently and that, innit, yeah? And I think to myself, I can't even be going around punching up and doing this and that. Well, I've got too much to lose, but I've got fucking free properties and that. So even me, I'm in that same boat where, you get me, I have to be paranoid and that. But anyway, there's no there's no disadvantages to um, having a positive mindset. There's only disadvantages thinking to yourself, ah, oh, black oppression and that, oh, I'm a victim and that blood. Right now, I'm telling you, like I said before with the crystal ball thing. Obviously, I'm this. I, I I've got what I've got because I've got a positive mindset. I don't believe in black oppression and that. And if I had the mindset of, oh, you know, I'm a black man and that, I wouldn't be in this property. I'll still be living at my mum's yard in Edmonton on YouTube, watching videos, trying to work out if fucking Tupac Shakur is still alive, blood. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be on some bullshit, blood. But, listen, there's, there's no disadvantages to having a positive mindset. There's no disadvantages to, get me, thinking about, uh, thinking that, you know, <laughs> I'm fucking up, I'm still vexed about that little fucking pussy, aren't it, yeah? But anyway, there's no disadvantages to being, uh, to thinking. <laughs> allow me, allow me, allow me, innit? There's no disadvantages to um, having a positive mindset, innit? Yeah? That's it for today. Stay wise. Done, though.